Hi, welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Abigail. This is a vampire horror film that is actually a reimagining of the 1936 Universal Classic Monster movie, Dracula's Daughter. I do love me some vampire movies, and I can never get tired of them. So you can probably imagine just how excited I am for this particular film. Now that I just got done watching this movie, I'm ready to talk about it. The movie story follows after a group of criminals kidnap the ballerina daughter of a powerful underworld figure. They retreat to an isolated mansion, unaware that they're locked inside with no normal little girl. Well, sure enough, I actually had a great time with this movie. I would even say it's one of the better vampire movies I have seen in a while. I know that's a bold statement, but you have to believe me when I say that this movie is good. It's good. It doesn't go without saying that it does have some issues, but I'll get to those later. Right now, I want to talk about the many great things the movie has going for it that all include some top-notch production design, bloody good special effects, good-looking cinematography, and some fun characters. The best thing about the movie that I happened to really love was the gothic architecture that was used for the amazing production design, which I found to be very reminiscent of old school horror movies. This movie really benefited from it as it had a great atmospheric foreboding undertone. Another thing that helped out the film's atmosphere was the beautiful looking bleak cinematography. The way it utilized the minimal lighting was just absolutely perfect. I did also like how some of the shots were framed as well. I will say that this is one of the bloodiest movies I've seen in a while. By the time it's all said and done, you'll feel like you'll need to take a shower or something. Believe it or not, but some scenes were so gory, they surprisingly even made me squirm. The special effects that went to making all these scenes happen were very well done. It seemed like most of it were done practical, which I do commend them for. If there was any CGI involved, I thought it looked great. Another great thing that I loved about this movie were the characters. Abigail herself was tremendously played by Alicia Weir, who was amazing in every scene she was in. Out of all the cast members, she's the one that stood out the most to me because she was amazing as the ballerina vampire. Gaining her fame from the past couple of Scream entries, Melissa Barrera was such a fun addition as one of the leads, completely added an extra layer of enjoyment to the film. There are some interesting and welcoming additions to the cast that all include Catherine Newton, Kevin Duran, Angus Cloud, Dan Stevens, and lastly but not least, the legend himself, Giancarlo Esposito. As far as everyone goes, I really enjoyed each and every performance, and that's what made this movie so much fun. This is another movie that I saw within the past couple of days where I didn't expect the amount of comedy that I had because there is a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor in the movie. Some of the jokes worked mostly, and there were some that jokes that failed to stick the landing. Either way, I did often find myself having some good laughs. If there's anything that bothered me the most with this movie, it would have to be the fact that I had a sluggishly slow first act, but once it picked back up immediately after, that's when things start to get interesting. Even though the movie does nosedive into camp territory, I do think that the writing could have been somewhat better, because I found the movie to be predictable most of the time. Other than that, I still had a lot of fun with this movie. Overall, Abigail is a delectably entertaining vampire flick that definitely has a lot of bite to it. While this movie may not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you can manage to get past the fat around the edges, this is a very fun, blood-soaked vampire movie that you can sink your teeth into. Leaving plenty of room for improvement, this movie is a good chunk above average. I give this movie a B+. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my real reviews.